24 hours. But right now we're seeing about 50% interest in face-to-face. -face. Only hours into a process of selecting education options for students, some of the county parents are evenly split between face-to-face -face and some form of learning at home. A few weeks ago when COVID-19 numbers were lower, it was more like 70 to 80% wanting students on campus. For any parent who has any concerns, take the remote option because, you know, we, um, it's very, very difficult to socially distance children at school. Everybody knows that. Um, so the fewer students we have on campus, the better job that will do socially distancing. The early statistics are just that. Parents have nine more days to decide once and for all. The superintendent says there are many parents adamant about face-to-face -face learning, but he points out the learning at home during school hours option is far better than what they scrambled to put together last spring. The vast majority of our teachers did a fantastic job fourth quarter with what they had, but we're giving them a better product so they can do a better job. He says it will better mirror a classroom setting. Also this afternoon, Seminole State College said it will have a few in-person classes this fall, but will teach remotely where it can inviting people impacted by the virus. If you're currently unemployed or underemployed, or if you fear that your job will not return after the pandemic, we're here to help. And county leaders say CARES cash will soon be going out to businesses and individuals in need. This aid will be utilized for things such as making your mortgage, your rent payment, uh, food items. At some of the county schools, all of the staff will be trained on exactly how to identify possible symptoms among the student body and their air conditioning and their ventilation systems. We run extra hours each day to make sure all of the inside air is as fresh as possible. Reporting in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Over 950 call takers who had been trying to